sleep that knits up the raveled sleeve of care, balm of hurt minds, great nature's second course, chief nourisher in life's feast. I'm Colin B. Bailey, the director of the Morgan Library and Museum in New York, and we're looking at three drawings by Rembrandt in the Morgan collection. John Pippot Morgan loved Rembrandt. He owned 500 prints by Rembrandt, and in 1909 he bought his first number of drawings by the artist. The Morgan today has about 23 drawings. I say about because attribution, authorship changes as scholars learn more. Rembrandt, born 1606, dies 1669, creates a tremendous career as a painter, an etcher, an engraver in Amsterdam, one of the leading figures of the European Baroque. We're looking at some of Rembrandt's most beautiful, touching, humanist drawings. He is an artist who captures family, life, children, affection. Even though his paintings are of grand themes often or portraits of the great and the good, in his drawings there's an intimacy and an affection that has endeared him to generations of viewers. In this drawing, which is done in pen and ink with slight wash with a brush, we see two women sleeping. Most of the paper is untouched, and yet he captures the form, the weightiness, the somnolence of these two women. Who are these figures? What is Rembrandt doing here? I want us to focus on the smallest details, the details of the hat, of the hair, of the sleeves of these two sleeping women. The woman above has a different cuff. The woman below has a slightly scalloped edge to her sleeve. It's quite possible that Rembrandt had seen this type of sleeping figure and then in a moment of recollection remembered it on the page with the most minimalist of means but with enormous humanity. When we look at this calm panorama, we are on one of the 21 bastions or bulwarks in the city of Amsterdam created to safeguard that city from outside forces and we are looking at the bulwark de Rosa. This was a walk that Rembrandt could have taken quite easily from his home. The drawing is remarkably calm and remarkably honest to the sight that Rembrandt is portraying, but it is not done on site. It is not an impressionist drawing done on plein air in front of the motif. It is a work on prepared paper with incredibly careful lines, scrapings, use of the brush. And he did a series of these promenades on paper in pen and ink with wash that are among his most beloved and enduring works. In this drawing, which is made with pen and ink and then with wash that's supplied with a brush, a young woman is making her way down a stone staircase. We really have no idea who this woman is. What we do know, thanks to Rembrandt, is that she is caring, holding this little child for dear life. And more than anything else, the affection of the woman as she nuzzles her head into the child's neck, the fidgeting young child who nonetheless is at home in her arms. His facility, his creativity and his mastery allowed him to show particularly humane and affectionate glimpses into his world. These are subjects that speak to us over the centuries.